FSD is getting awfully good. Robotaxi is right around the corner. But what does that mean and what comes next? We can picture Robotaxi. We can all understand how that works. But what if there was a way to get a little bit more fun out of it? I know, I know. What are we talking about? We're talking about guided tours, robo rides. And if we're going to do that, we should have a chat with Max from Robo Rides. He's got a YouTube channel. It's not very big, but we can do something about that. Uh, we're going to find out what it's like driving in the big cities because uh, he's driven through some real boss battle kind of cities on FSD. And we're going to go from there and figure it all out. I'm Brian. Welcome to Futuraza. So uh, Robo Rides is the name your channel. I bet that's not a surprise to you. Um, on this, check it out, guys. 231 uh, ride encounters so far and counting. And uh, if that's not enough for you, you can always uh, head on over and follow him at FSD Robo Rides. Uh, so how much how much fun is that? The other day, Max posted an idea, a crazy idea. What if we uh, went ahead and uh, I don't know, uh, did a uh, an actual tour? We're going to talk about that and how that works. Uh, Max, what's uh, first of all? Let's start with the easy stuff. Uh, tell us where you are, where you drive, and your story. Hey, Brian, thank you for the invite to be on your channel. Really appreciate it and uh, for the shout out. And uh, basically, I'm in uh, central New Jersey, about 45 minutes outside the city. So it's a, sometimes it's a bit of a hike to get in there. But uh, the goal of my channel is pretty much uh, just to show people how the tech works and kind of bring them like a real experience from like an average guy. I started out just making videos locally in my town and then... Uh, happened to visit my sister in, in the city and uh, those videos did a lot better than my average town rides. So I uh, started uh, doing every time there was a new release, I tried to get to the city and do a tour. And I usually leave my house early in the morning, I uh, get charged up and then uh, some whatever time it takes me to get into the city, sometimes it's an hour, sometimes it's two hours but I let FSD do the whole run into the city and then a continuous drive for like three, four hours the whole time I'm there just to kind of test out the commute and then the experience in the city. And uh, for this last video, I decided to do a tour as a tourist, basically, since we got Grok introduced to us. I was like, you know, let me just play a tourist. Like I've never been to the city and let me... And let me have Grok give the tour and kind of tell me about the areas that I'm in. Then I, as I drove into the city, I noticed a big red bus tour. And uh, that's what they call the big red bus in New York, where you can get a tour to all the fancy well, places. We clarify, when you, when you say go into the city, you're not talking Bayonne or Trenton. You mean the Big Apple. Correct, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just because going people to outside Manhattan. the Northeast may not realize that that is the city. Okay, I got gotcha. you. We go into Manhattan and all the uh, basically nooks and crannies. So the big box tours, uh, I usually start uh, in downtown. So I try to hit big places like Times Square, Empire State, uh, like Greenwich Village, Chinatown, Wall Street. So I try to do the whole, do the whole downtown of New York. Um, and I basically try to hit random places on my average rides in this particular scenario i saw one of those big red bosses and i was like well let me see what happens if i just ask it to add the destinations for this bus tour that they're doing right now let me get this straight instead of saying this is 10 years out 50 years out you said oh look a big red bus hey i could just take the same route hey grok what's the route and then yeah, exactly and then and then said just put it on put it on the nav let's do it and then yeah. away you go. Exactly. Yep. It, it just added all the routes to my surprise because earlier in the day I was struggling. Uh, so the video that you're showing, uh, I just chop them up because people can't watch like four hours of video. So I do like 15, <laughs> 20 minute bits. So this is the particular one where I asked for the big bus tour. So in the previous videos, you know, you'll, if you watch those, you'll get an idea of like where I get the idea from the big bus because I talk about it in the earlier videos. 
And then uh, once I get through like all the tough points that I want to test out in like Chinatown and the Wall Street area, because those are really tiny streets. Some of them are still cobblestone and uh, there's cars like double parked and parked on the side and things like that. So there's a lot of different obstacles in New York City. So FSD can do it there. You know, I feel like it can do it anywhere. I mean, obviously, it's got some competition like in places like India and things like that. But like in the U.S., is a tough, in it's in a tough North ride. America, I've driven in Mexico City. Um, I would say that it is no, not really worse than than New York City. And a buddy who was helping me out with some translation and some ground logistics in Mexico City has lived in both. And he said, yeah, if you can drive in New York City, you could drive in Mexico City and vice versa. Outside of North America, there are, I mean, there are some crazy difficult places. Nepal is not ripe for robo taxi today for example and which part of nepal yes all of it the whole thing the roads are very narrow very winding um everything is bi-directional there are no sidewalks so you're sharing the road with absolutely everything and not no sidewalks but effectively no sidewalks so if we're doing this today if i want to go out and do this today i ask it to do that route for example but then how do I learn about what all the stuff is? Yeah, so um, actually, um, since you asked me to do the video, I've been kind of thinking about this more and more. So I've actually come up with some like potential business models that maybe we can run through. Sure. And um, so the uh, the first option could be as a uh, pay per segment type robo taxi tour where, you know, you open the app, you select the type of tour you want, like uh classical landmarks or architecture or even like your favorite movie locations and Mm -hmm. uh tesla sends a robo taxi to pick you up and you only pay for the locations that you want to visit so uh, you get a curated sightseeing tour powered by grok in any of the famous places like times square empire state building uh greenwich village chinatown wall street uh you hop out anytime and do a walk-in experience and Grok can seamlessly continue the tour on your phone. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the missing piece. I see. That's the part I was missing. And uh, the beauty is uh, when you're, you've done tours like this, I'm sure I've, I think we all have at this point. It's great because you can ask the tour guide literally anything and they will make something up on the spot. Grok may hallucinate a little bit, but I don't think they hallucinate as much as a professional tour guide. Because those people are real good at spinning stories. Yeah, you can ask the, literally ask it anything in real time, any kind of follow-up questions that you may have. Like, you know, say you're walking down the street as you pop out of the robo taxi, and you can just ask like what movies were filmed on the street, or and you know, you get that one-on-one experience with Grok, and it almost feels like a super knowledgeable local friend instead of just like, you know, a tour guide that like runs the same script over and over. Now, based on the video that's rolling in the background, I have a a question. If you want to stop your ride, can you just say, uh, take me to the nearest McDonald's and it'll just pull over because they appear to be on every block. So uh, I'm sure that's a possibility. I haven't tried that, (laughs) Uh, but I'm teasing, you know, (laughs) I just mean they're everywhere. Years ago, but, when FSD was first uh, on the horizon, I th- I had this idea as well, but Grok didn't exist. And I think some of your ideas are taking it to quite another level. And I think that's pretty, pretty great. This is something that I hope they're working on. So if you wanted to do it today at home, I think, I think you could. There's a few missing pieces to the puzzle. Uh, the first one being, if you're not in New York City, you don't have a red bus line to follow. Those are only in, you know, the biggest cities. Um, but so yeah, actually, I, I don't know. Uh, actually, that would stack, this could scale to anywhere in the world because, you you know, Grok mm-hmm. knows everything about everything. So mm-hmm. you could be like in the middle of a village in Africa and get a similar tour as you could in New York City. It's probably going to be a little further apart, but, you know, the information yeah. is there for a grok to pull on well and the other thing is if it's in your car it doesn't have to be a tour that takes place over the course of one day it could be over the course of your month of driving across the continent absolutely i think it's all pretty pretty fascinating while we've got you here we've got to ask new york city 
any crazy successes you've seen where the car did something in a complicated situation that you just couldn't believe? So there's uh, actually quite a few of them. And uh, there, the, most of them are in my videos. Uh, there are some really crazy tight spots. Uh, the one that comes to mind right now, FSD pulled off as, as one of the stops. And uh, I got boxed in by a double parked van. And then I had a car in front of me that was parked at a double double parked van to the right of me. And there's tons of traffic coming from the uh, from the right side. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to try this. And I turn on FSD. And uh, to my surprise, the car like reversed. And this was on 14.2.1, I believe. So the car just reversed on its own made space, just enough space to get around the double parked van, accounted for all the traffic coming from the right-hand side, and then squeezed in between parked cars on the other side of the street and the double parked van. And uh, like when I tell you it was like inches between the mirror and the van, like I was panicking because it was like the bumper in the front was inches away from the parked cars on the right. The mirror was on, uh, you know, an inch away from the side, but the car was very confident. It just did its thing. And that like really surprised me at the time because it was one of my first experiences yeah. where like you could see that Grok is doing some logical thinking around the situation instead of just, you know, randomly driving, yeah. um, following the map. Now, if you ask Grok, uh, what, what has been filmed in this location? Uh, how long would that list be? I think you have to just... get specific. Yeah, I, I think it would just give you <laughs> like a... Uh, you're gonna, it, you're it'd gonna give you the closest answer, around. but you'd have to probably be a little bit more specific. Well, but I mean, this part of town, everything's been filmed here. Yeah. I mean, once you're in, I mean, there's a reason this looks like the set of many, many movies. Um, it is. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, that's great. I think uh, what I'm going to do is have you come back and join us uh, for a second show that will appear um, on the deeper dive section of the site. If you don't know about that, there's a video sticking on the channel all about it, uh, where we're going to talk to you about all of the weird edge cases you've run into where it did well or poorly in Boss Battle City, NYC itself, uh, because I think there's a lot there. Um, guys, if you get a chance, would you do me a favor and please head over to uh, at FSD Robo Rides would be the one place and the other would be uh, would be FSD Robo Rides on on YouTube. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. It's free, you guys. He's got some uh, pretty fascinating stuff and it's rare to see these East Coast uh, successes. That little clip it showed a minute ago where you were at the light and it was like, you know what? It's only one car length, but I'm getting over a lane. That's what humans do on that road in that situation. That felt very, very organic to me. Uh, so, Max, I want to thank you for coming and hanging out. Uh, everybody else, you know, what did we miss? What did we misunderstand? What else do you want to know about the concept of robo-rides? It doesn't exist yet, but we can maybe push hard enough to make it happen. Everybody else, stay tuned, stay juicy, and I cannot wait to hear from you, clever robots, on the flippity-flop. Huge thank you for inviting me.